Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious vegan recipes. This week's video is another what I eat in a week because I love to make these and hopefully you are enjoying them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment letting me know if you plan to try any of these meals. Y'all, so last night I decided to soak some black beans because I really want to make a black bean soup and I'm excited. I had some dry beans. And I feel like I rarely cook with dry beans. Let's just, you know, let's go for it this week. So I'm excited. These have been soaking overnight. And then I'm also soaking some cashews. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I'm excited. So I soaked some cashews last night. I'm about to make a tomato soup. Don't judge me, but yes, I'm going to be using canned tomatoes for this canned diced tomatoes. But I'm also gonna cut up a onion as well as a shallot to cook those up before we start the soup process. Y'all, so this is honestly the perfect example of use what you have to make the meals that you want. When I was researching how to make tomato soup, like what are some of the key ingredients? A lot of people in a lot of recipes were saying you need to use fresh tomatoes. Listen, I'm sure this is still gonna taste amazing without the fresh tomatoes. I had canned tomatoes and I plan to use them up. Now I'm sure this probably would taste 10 times better if I used fresh tomatoes, but it was still given what it was supposed to give. And I did not feel like I was missing out on anything. See, it's times like this when I really wish I had an immersion blender. All right, if y'all can remember, I had some cashews soaking in water. They've been soaking for a while. So I'm gonna make like a quick cashew sauce to blend up and put inside of the tomato soup. Almost forgot, I need to add in a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so it's super creamy. Y'all can't really see, but. All right, so I rinsed that out and now, I'm gonna add in the tomato. That should be good. And now I'm gonna add this back in the pot and pour some of the cashew cream sauce. Let me get to mixing because this stuff is bubbling. All right, and I'm gonna cook up a quick grilled cheese and this is dinner. Also have some fresh basil, crushed basil that I'm gonna use on here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that cashew sauce. I have my um, grilled cheese. So I'm just gonna add that there. And there we go. Bon appetit! <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited because I've been tasting it and it's so good. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is fire. This is fire. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Listen, who knew that we could do this with some canned tomatoes? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also, I wanted to share a couple new things that I bought recently. So y'all have seen me use containers like this. I have them for all my seasonings. See, like here's one. Here's one, and I actually got these from Amazon, but I picked these up from, not Trader Joe's, I picked these up from TJ Maxx, and they were $4.99 each. So I got two of them, which I'm so excited to use. Now, do I know what I'm gonna put in them just yet? No, um, 
<laughs> but I'm sure I'll find like some dry goods to put in here and put them in the pantry. And I always get comments on my glasses and like the different drinking glasses that I have. And I got these from Amazon, which I thought were so cute. Like look how awesome those look. I actually got four of them and I'm excited to use it and put like my matchas, my cold brew, all the good stuff. So that's the second thing. And then I got these. So I really like these. I like them for a few reasons. One, they're, they look super cool. Let me push that back so y'all can see. They look really cool. But they have this little, oh crap. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. But anyway, those like pop off or whatever. But they're just like little glass storage containers. I want to make, what am I trying to make today? I want to make pickled onions. So, I just really like these. I thought they were so cute. And I'll link all of these. Well, I'll link these containers and I'll link these glasses in the description box. These, I mean, I can link these from Amazon, but again, I got these from TJ Maxx, so. So it is, it's smoothie time. And I'm about to make a quick smoothie. Hopefully you can see it. I picked up this dragon fruit, frozen dragon fruit from Target. Well, I actually had to deliver it because I really wanted a smoothie this morning and I didn't have any frozen fruit. So now we're here. Has some frozen kale. It's not completely frozen just yet. I'm gonna use like a little over half of a banana. I know I need more ice, so I'm gonna add some ice in there. I'm gonna add in some plant milk. And then I also have some cashew yogurt that I'm gonna add. So I just realized I forgot to put a sweetener, so I'm gonna add this agave. Let's focus. Agave, I actually picked this up from TJ Maxx yesterday. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that's bomb. Mm. This is so good. Yeah. Probably best smoothie I've made in a long time. Mm hmm Oh my gosh, it tastes like dessert. <laughs> Y'all gotta try this. This is so good. Okay, y'all, so it is snack time. Here's what I'm about to snack on. Let me pick this up so y'all can see the full thing. It is the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. Here are the ingredients. So just popcorn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. So since I've started making Brussels sprouts, I honestly always use the same sauce to cook them in. Like this sauce has not failed me at all. It's so flavorful, so delicious. It's sweet, spicy. So let's get into it. So for your Brussels sprouts, just make sure you wash them, cut them up, add in some olive oil, some salt, pepper, followed by some garlic powder. I like to add a little bit of agave for a sweetness because then I add in this saltiness from the soy sauce and the spiciness from the sriracha. I mix those up. You can either cook these on the stove or you can add them to a baking sheet and bake them in the oven. I decided to bake mine and I had them on about 390 degrees and I baked them for about 15 to 20 minutes. So 
to go with the Brussels sprouts, I bought this tofu the other day. I mean, this tempeh the other day. The last time I had tempeh was probably like two years ago. So this is gonna be interesting cooking this up. I'm gonna cook it up with the same type of sauce that I use for the Brussels sprouts. Um, but I'm gonna let this marinate for about 15 minutes. Look how it looks. Very interesting. So if you're not familiar with tempeh, it is, this is made up of soybeans, water, and organic brown rice. Y'all, sir keeps, you wanna say hi? <laughs> he keeps bringing me all these toys. Get the ball, buddy. Get the ball. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that boy is a mess, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna cook it up essentially in the same sauce. Let it marinate and then cook it on the stove, I think. Cook this much. I'm just gonna cube this out. Here's how it looks after I cubed it. I'm adding it to a little plastic bag. So I know I said that I was gonna make this sauce the exact same, but the only thing that's different is that I added in some powdered peanut butter. Now I'm adding in some garlic powder, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of black pepper. I just tasted the sauce and it's so good. So I'm hoping that it helps give this some flavor. I pour that in here. Uh, we gotta get every little drip, okay? No sauce left behind. So I'm gonna close that. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then cook it up on the stove. I can already tell, like, look at the caramelization. Yes, I can already tell this. these are gonna be amazing. I know that sauce is great because <laughs> I use it all the time. Excuse me, the crispy pieces of Brussels sprouts. Like, oh gosh, it's gonna be delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Gonna add a little oil down. All right, let's get this party started. So I'm pretty sure it's a little hot by now. It's been marinating. I'm gonna add everything in there. And because we want this to be super saucy, I'm gonna make sure we get every last drip of sauce in here. So this is what we're working with right now. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of vegetable broth. Kinda gonna treat these how I treat my, well treat this, the tempeh, how I treat my uh, chickpeas. So I think sometimes with these, like it's hard, or with tempeh, it's hard to ensure the inside gets a lot of flavor. So that's why I went ahead and added in that vegetable broth, hoping that it would help. Brussels sprouts a lot, so I'm eating every single Brussels sprout you cook tonight, even those little crumbs. All right, now adding in the tempeh. I'm a huge fan of green onions, so I'm gonna add on some green onions as well. All right, and here is dinner. I'm so excited. I know it's gonna be really good because that sauce is amazing, but um, I did see a comment a while ago just like asking or a request asking like how I cook my Brussels sprouts. That has been my go-to way even since before I was vegan. This has always worked for me. Um, I would definitely recommend that you try it if you are interested in, you know, trying to dabble in eating Brussels sprouts. Here's what I'm trying. It does have a green onion and a little bit of rice. I don't think that'll make a huge difference. Hmm. That was actually really good. I do think that it was a sauce that helped. Also, the last time I had tempeh, it was kind of dry. So I think the fact that I added in that, um, that vegetable broth, it really helped soften it up. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was really good. 
Ooh, look at these Brussels though. Look at the Brussels sprouts. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. One day I'm gonna make my own pasta. One day we are going to do it. It's gonna be great. I think I'm gonna try ravioli or maybe tortellini. I don't know. I feel like Brandon and I should make this like a date night type of thing and record the entire experience because neither one of us have, have made our own pasta before. And if you can't tell from last week's video, yo, I've been trying to find a reason to use my miso paste on just about everything. So for this pasta, I'm making a brown butter miso sage type of sauce. It turned out to be so delicious. I added in some shiitake mushrooms as well as some soy sauce. And now y'all know if y'all have seen previous videos, no meal is complete for me without a green vegetable. So to this pasta dish that I'm whipping up, I added in some kale. Also wanted to give this dish a little bit more texture. So now I'm toasting breadcrumbs. These are just regular breadcrumbs that I picked up from the bulk section of the store. I seasoned it with an Italian seasoning as well as some vegan Parmesan. And I think that was a game changer. So in our last house, we had a bar and we are looking to kind of like revamp our bar in this new house and we got a whole new bar cart and I decided to order, I think you pronounce it Haas? Haas? I don't, I think that may be right, but I decided to order some of their, um, oh that's cute, super cute packaging. But I decided to order a couple of their drinks. And so like, here's the, let's put it this way so y'all can see it better. Here's the bottle. But I just figured it would look super cute on our, on our bar cart. So I got this one. This is the lemon lavender flavor. And so these are drinks that you can just like pour and drink. You don't necessarily have to mix it with anything. So I guess it's like a cocktail in a bottle. So I got that or, I guess they consider themselves wine. I don't know. I couldn't tell, but I've heard really good things about it. So this is a lemon lavender. And then this is the other one I got. It is citrus flower. And so I'm excited to try these. They are vegan. I researched it before I picked them up. It'll be so cute on the bar cart. And I'm glad that they also taste really good. All right, and at this point, I'm probably gonna turn into dragon fruit because I eat it all the time. Last week I had the yellow dragon fruit. This week I'm having the pink dragon fruit. And I told y'all that the seeds in the pink dragon fruit are a lot smaller. However, the yellow dragon fruit is much, much sweeter. And I really want it to be a little fancy for myself. So I'm making a fruit bowl. I added in some blackberries. Now this never had it. It is a golden berry. So yummy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully by now you have clicked that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you next week with a brand new video.